Hi there, I'm Patrick Donegan with Harden Stance. If you work in the security operations center of a telco, if you work in telco SOC operations, uh, then as you look at the uh, colossal volumes of traffic going through your organization, one of the things that you care about very much is filtering out that traffic which is of interest to telco SOC operations and that traffic that isn't. You want to take the traffic that you care about and you want to make sure that it gets forwarded to all your security tools in the SOC to be treated appropriately uh, in line with your organization's security policies. The corollary of that is that you also want to make absolutely sure that traffic that is of no interest to you does not make it into the SOC. Why? Because if it does, it's going to chew up huge amounts of network bandwidth for no good reason. It's going to consume huge amounts of compute on your security tolls for no good reason. And it's going to chew up huge amounts of storage for no good reason. I'm here with Gene Litt. Gene is the CTO of NetQuest. We're here to talk about a new uh, security product category he's bringing to market called a network security broker. Gene, good to see you. Uh, before we talk about the network security broker, uh, let's talk about the problem space a little bit as you see it. That sounds like a great place to start, Patrick. And uh, thanks for inviting me to the discussion today. Uh, for those of you not familiar with NetQuest, we work with large service providers and government agencies around the globe, helping them access and target network traffic for their security monitoring missions. And uh, several years back, what that typically entailed was uh, doing auto discovery on uh, highly channelized optical links, technologies like DWM, uh, Sonnet, SDH, and more recently, we were working with a lot of layer two, layer three technologies like GTP encapsulations for mobile traffic, uh, VXLAN for network overlays and underlays, um, uh, pseudo wire um, technologies like that. And what our customers recognize us for in general, uh, they see us as a pioneer in high speed packet processing. And so when for example, telco peering links started to migrate to 100 gig several years back. Uh, they came to us to help um, with unsampled flow metering to, at those high rates, multiple 100 gig links per office. And more recently with high bandwidth 5G services being deployed and pushing out to the service edge, um, they're coming to us looking for new approaches to help them um, solve that problem. And in general, um, we're seeing three, three main challenges. The first is just, the sheer growth of network traffic, um, such that their existing approaches uh, are no longer viable. Um, the days of looking at and capturing every packet and every byte are quickly leaving us, so they need new, new approaches to separate high value traffic from low value traffic. Um, related to that, um, they're also challenged with encryption. Uh, the percentage of traffic that's encrypted on, on these links now is typically greater than 70%. So they're looking for innovative ways to separate the signal from the noise with encrypted traffic for monitoring. Um, and then finally, we're hearing a lot about streaming media. Um, it's not only uh, putting a burden on their backbone networks, uh, but from a security monitoring perspective, they consider it low value traffic. And so they're looking for some innovative ways to um, help offload some of that. And so well, we're working now with uh, a couple of major telcos, a couple of government agencies on developing these new approaches to optimize um, visibility and protection on the one hand and cutting security monitoring costs on the other. All right, so up till now uh, and with the launch of the network security broker, uh, what tools, what products have been available in your mind to operators to deliver the sort of highly scalable highly granular filtering capabilities that operators need. And in your view, uh, why are those traditional tools and products uh, no longer up to the task, no longer fit for purpose? That's a good question, Patrick. Um, the limitations of current products depends a lot on, first of all, the customer's network architecture, their scale, um, their specific uh, security monitoring mission. Um, but when we look at things like scalable, classification and filtering, which is what we're largely doing here with our optimization. Um, first of all, you could just start out with merchant silicon switching from your favorite you know, switch router vendor. And you'll find that uh, some of the features are certainly available in, in you know, that hardware. Uh, when it comes to prefix list filtering, uh, 
five tuple filtering, things along those lines, and some scale relatively well, but um, most lack support for advanced traffic classification features that are required for these use cases. And uh, so um, we also see a few packet brokers out there that can do some of this advanced classification, but in general, the big challenge there is scale. Um, most of these implement these features in software, and uh, could be x86 or more typically it's running on a multi-core network processor but because it's still software based what we're hearing from customers as you start bringing you know multiple 100 gig links or 400 gig links through those switches um, and you start enabling some of the more taxing features they're seeing a lot of packet drops so they're just uh, great for enterprise but perhaps not for these highly scalable telco and agency deployments um, we have seen a couple of packet brokers that have um, been built with uh, limited FPGA resources and uh, for things like advanced classification. But uh, in general, there's a big mismatch between the amount of aggregate traffic that can move through those switches and the amount of uh, advanced packet processing available. Um, and so, for example, how, how useful is a 32 port 100 gig switch if you can only do your advanced processing on two or 400 gig ports? Um, and so this is the feedback we're hearing from our customers. And this is why we created such a scalable traffic processing engine. All right, so let's come now to the network security broker itself, Gene. Uh, tell us about it. What can it do? How does it do it? Uh, what's the value proposition for a telco, for SOC operations team from the perspective of cost efficiency, from the perspective of security efficacy? Uh, tell us about the network security broker. Patrick, uh, the network security broker, or NSB as we like to call it, is a great example of a customer-driven product. Uh, we worked alongside a tier one mobile operator and a government agency to build the product. And the NSB is a rifle shot at optimizing security monitoring for large scale networks. Um, it brings three key benefits. The first is improved network visibility. Uh, we simply enable the SOC to monitor more traffic. And, and can be with their existing tools. Uh, the second big benefit it is improves protection, security protection. Um, we remove a significant portion of the noise from the network, which enables their security monitoring tools to see more flows and achieve higher efficacies of analysis. And equally important, um, the NSP significantly reduces the cost of security monitoring infrastructure. Uh, the NSB inserts seamlessly into your existing monitoring fabric in use with your existing tools. Um, it expands capacity of the, uh, your tools and storage. And if your mission involves backhauling traffic over a wide area network, the NSB dramatically reduces the amount of network bandwidth required to do so. Um, how do we achieve uh, these benefits? Um, Firstly, the, at the heart of the NSB is the traffic policy engine, and we've engineered it um, similar to perhaps uh, what you might find inside a next-gen firewall, uh, but we've optimized it specifically for the security monitoring use case. Uh, this includes telco scale IP prefix list filtering, hundreds of thousands of filters, over a million in a 1RU form factor. Um, uh, to separate everything from on-net 5G service elements to um, IP threat lists to nation state um, prefixes. Um, in addition to the filtering um, and this whitelisting and blacklisting capability, we also introduce a new concept we call gray listing. And what this does is it leverages NetQuest's uh, deep packet inspection algorithms for classification. So for example, we have an algorithm for detecting encrypted traffic, um, we can detect and forward uh, critical handshake messages, whether it's HTTPS or quick traffic, and then we can optimize it, the remaining uh, encrypted uh, packets within the flow. Um, another example would be streaming media, which I talked about, being able to detect and optimize streaming media flows. Um, we're finding in early testing that um, the overall traffic reduction is well in excess of 50% on typical traffic and sometimes upwards of 80%. Um, and what this is doing for our customers is it's helping them get eyes on more traffic, more high value traffic and improving their security posture. Um, so, and I guess I should add that most exciting, we're starting to see from a business perspective, we're seeing, um, we're seeing some cases where the return on investment is less than 12 months, which we're really excited about. 
All right, so give us a bit of a commercial update, if you would, Gene. Uh, where are you in terms of commercial deployments? Who are you deploying with, if you'll share that with us? Uh, what's the GA date? The timing for this is uh, is great, Patrick. Uh, we began trialing the NSB in Q2 of this year. Uh, we were and are working closely with a tier one mobile operator and a strategic partner that works in the lawful intercept market. Uh, we're turning up several additional trials this quarter, the fourth quarter of 2022, and we plan to achieve our first production deployment before year's end. Um, and to be clear, NetQuest Network Security Broker, um, it is GA, and it's available for either trial or purchase. Great chatting with you, Gene, as ever. Thanks ever so much. Um, I have written a hardened stance uh, briefing for NetQuest on the subject of the Network Security Broker. It's called Streamlining SOC Operations. You can download it from netquestcorp.com.